maybe I'm just coping or maybe this is how we have to think about AI. Now, before I talk about why I think using AI as a tool is your best bet for surviving the AI apocalypse of replacing jobs, I think it's going to be a norm of people being able to be more productive using AI tools, regardless where you are in the hype cycle. And Cody, and I'm going to put a little excerpt here and link to his video. I'm not going to do like full reaction to his video because you just watched his video, but he made a really good point about where you are in the hype cycle and if you're correct or not. Are you finding it? Are you on this left side of the spectrum? Are you on this right side of the spectrum? Or are you maybe somewhere in the middle, right? I think it does take some time to figure out where you truly are. And like all things in life, if you're on one extreme of a spectrum, you're probably wrong, right? You probably have your head stuck in the sand and you're not truly seeing things from other people's perspective. Same with this side, right? You're not seeing things from different people's perspective. So the one thing I'm noticing in the company that I work in is that we're all encouraged to be more productive using tools and automation which includes AI as well. And seeing that as a trend, I feel like if you're not embracing these tools, regardless if you're right or wrong on this point, you're going to be left behind. And I want to explain to you why. Maybe it's just me coping, but here's how I think we all think about. The AI dilemma is that you will never be able to compete with AI. And as AI keeps getting better, the big fear is that there's no longer going to be a need for you as a developer. Because now you're working for a company, you are a tool for the company, that sounds very weird to say, where they tell you what they want, they pay you money, and you do the work. And if you can be replaced by AI, obviously the fear, right, yeah, like why wouldn't they replace me and have an AI system? I don't think AI is there for full replacement, but what I think AI is going to do is make sure that us as developers we are able to use these AIs effectively to be super duper productive. And so the AI dilemma in my case is not so much, you know, when are we going to be replaced by AI? I think there's still a lot of hype, but realistically, what does it mean for us and our job? And so I want to kind of walk through some of the ways I think about it. Obviously, the AI hype cycle is real. And I think honestly, like this right now would be through the roof. It will be nonstop because so many people are misunderstanding what it actually means and where AI is actually. And I have like managers that I talk to where they're like, listen, this should just take you two minutes. You just ask AI to do it and it's done from like, it's like, come on, AI doesn't quite do that yet to people where they're saying, oh, AI is not affecting anything. Everything is okay. But I think like Cody said at the beginning of the video from the video that I sh quick snippet I shared is that if you're too much to the left or too much to the right, you're absolutely wrong because the truth is somewhere in the middle. And so even with this AI hype cycle, wrong or not, the one thing that I know, if you're not on this hype graph and if the hype graph is false, right, nothing changed for you, right? But if the hype is real and you didn't take the steps to kind of make changes in the way you work to utilize those tools that are coming into existence, you're obviously going to be at a loss, right? So the idea is I'm betting, okay, if this is the hype, regardless if it's true or not, I'm going to be part of it in terms of understanding how these tools work, how to be more productive, because if I'm wrong, and there are all those things that people say, I want to be the most effective developer on my team to use those tools to be more productive than anybody else. And it's, yeah, asking the question, what if the hype is true? It's like, what do you do? So what are we left to consider? So I'm kind of going to step out from like the developer world and talk about this idea, expert and beginner. I used to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. If you are expert at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, there's this line, like a beginner will just never beat you. Like the beginner will never be good enough. They won't even have beginner's luck to be able to beat you. If you're Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, you're destroying the beginner, right? And that is a fact, right? If you have certain skill and a beginner to, that doesn't, you're going to smash them. That's just the reality of it. Here's the issue with that previous statement. I could be an expert in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but if the beginner is on steroids and they're crazy, maybe they got a club or maybe they have whatever, like I'm in trouble, right? So like the beginner has a thing, steroids. They're helping them to go beyond my expert ability to be able to deal. So I may be an expert, but the fact that they have this tool, they don't off on steroids out of their mind, I'm in trouble, right? That's just the reality. This is kind of how I'm thinking in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So obviously, what is the answer? And 
And the answer is, as an expert, I have to do steroids as well. Like, I, that's the only way to compete. And if you look at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition, there's like high-level expert competitors that are also on steroids because they have to take advantage of every possible opportunity that they can in order to stay competitive. And if they don't do those things, you know what? It's hard to be competitive in that field. And that's just the truth and the reality. And I think of kind of what I saw in jiu-jitsu in this weird example, weirdly, is the same way that I'm approaching use of AI in development. So kind of talking about this from the standpoint of a developer and your knowledge as a senior developer, you're obviously stomping all over junior devs. You're able to get more done. But when you now have this junior dev that's using AI versus a senior dev, like maybe it's not going to be to where they're able to surpass you, right? Maybe it's going to be like, hey, they're here. Maybe they're a little bit here, but they're kind of making that up. Like they're able to get closer to you, right? And so like AI is helping you. It's leverage your base knowledge to be more productive. And I would argue there's another element that I'll mention close to the end of the video, which makes this even more like important to know here. And if we take a look here, basically, if the senior dev also applies those AI tools that are available to be more productive, regardless if they say like, I don't need the tools, I'm bad, I'm so smart. I'm, regardless, like it's the same idea. It's a hidden tool that allows you in whatever capacity you use it to be more productive and get more done. And so again, you're going to level up. And we could see the trend here that if you have a tool and I have a tool, regardless of our expert, like then we're kind of on equal ground. And then it becomes to, okay, what else do I have to offer? Because we have the same tools available to us. And this is where, again, seniority or this domain knowledge will start to kind of shine again. And so what I want to kind of bring to your attention is this ability is like, hey, Instead of complaining about it, you do all the things. You become the best developer that you can on your field. You pick a specific domain knowledge that some other competitor might not have. For instance, it could be building a specific type of product or whatever it is. And you learn how to use the AI tools. And so the idea is, hey, this is how the world is changing. And regardless where the hype is, we're not going to go move backward. Like the tools are out of the box. So instead of kind of being like, is there going to be a job for me? It's literally become the best that you can be in your field. Continue to grow your domain knowledge in the field that you're in and utilize to use the AI tools that are available to you. And that's basically my stance on using AI and continuing forward. The idea, I'm not worrying so much about, is it going to replace my job? Is it Am I developing the right skills necessary to stay competitive in this evolving market? And to kind of bring this all together, my goal is one, have a domain space where you have a certain amount of knowledge that most people don't. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could be like I build e-commerce websites with AI features. And that could be like your domain, you go deep, you really understand it, you know exactly how all e-commerce platforms work, you like a master of all the payment integrations and how, what to watch out, you also know and how to utilize all the best like AI tools in your workflow to be as productive as possible. And you continue to grow your level of understanding as a senior engineer. And so the point is right now, you might have somebody uses AI tools and they almost look like they're just as a productive as a senior engineer. But here's the thing to consider. the If you all have the same tools available to you, right? The person that's going to win with the same tools will become the person with that high skill level. And that's exactly kind of what we see in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition. You have folks who are super strong because they're rated up and they're phenomenal Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu athletes. And they're literally at the pinnacle of utilizing all the advantages and technologies that they have to them. And then the winner becomes the person who is actually better because you know they're using all the same tech. So now like those tools are nullified and now it's like, who's the better, smarter, better competitor, right? Who is best in the day? And I think that's how I'm going to continue to look at AI and this idea of thinking about it, hey, listen, this is where we are. This is what we do. And you just have to not only become the best developer you can, and not only continue to grow your domain knowledge in the field that you're working in, but also learn to use all the AI tools that are available to you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this TED talk or <laughs> like it or dislike, or want to give me a comment, you could talk whatever you want in the comment section. 
I got a very new funny joke. I'm not going to tell what it is, but if you see some of my shorts, you will see it. So any interaction in the comments is appreciated. Positive, negative. I love you all anyway. Talk to you guys and girls and everybody later in the next video.